Namaste. So, it's been a long time that I've been doing public presentations on Vedic texts. Actually, it started in 2005. I mean, before that, I was in ISKCON, or associated with ISKCON. In 2005 is when I started off on my own and started a temple in Mexico City, in Chile, Santiago, Chile, and then up in the mountains. And uh, then later on, we moved to India. Of course, that ended in failure and devastation when I found that some of the guys were uh, trying to start a branch in Mexico uh, to as a front or cover for dealing drugs. And my response to that was to just blow up the whole thing and put it behind me. Of course, then they started an artificial scandal, and which goes on to the present day, where they're posting all kinds of lies about me and this and that. But anyway, this is a recurring theme in spiritual teaching. You will find that for every teacher, there is an enemy that tries to derail their work. And in Kali Yuga, it just gets worse and worse. So the latest thing was in the Consciousness Research Center online group, these uh, young smart asses, I mean, these guys have PhDs, and they start mouthing off, uh, becoming abusive, personally critical towards me, with no basis whatsoever, no proof at all. It's just their warped personal opinions. So I've had enough. This abuse has been going on since I was in ISKCON, I mean, 30, 40 years ago. Because I'm a mild-mannered person, because I'm naturally humble, people take advantage of me. And they violate my boundaries. They violate the respect that's due to a senior teacher, or someone who is realized. And they make offenses. Of course, they're going to suffer for these offenses. No escaping that. And it's not something that I wish for them. It's not something that I'm doing to them. But it is going to happen. It has happened in the past, and I've made comments about that here on the channel. Uh, but these guys are a whole new level of nasty. They're educated. They have advanced degrees in various sciences and stuff. Yet their level of maturity is like a, you know, a tween, 12, 13-year-old boys. And they're just envious for no reason. So this marks a new low in Kali Yuga. And... Uh, I don't need this, you know? I'm fine with my realization of Shiva, Shakti, and Brahman. I'm all good with my understanding of consciousness and my ontology based on the four states of consciousness and so on. So, you know, I don't need this. And it would be disrespectful of myself if I were to put up with it. So I'm not going to put up with it. Oh, and by the way, when these attacks were going on, on the online group, none of the other students who were logged in at that time took a stand and 
defended me against these rascals. The cowards just sat back and watched, you know, like a tennis match, boink, 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 as, you know, the arguments went on and on. Finally, of course, I just deleted them from the group. They had it coming to them. But then I realized, why should I make myself available for this kind of abuse? Why should I open myself up to this kind of disrespect? You know, this is Kali Yuga. It's probably three or four years before World War III. We don't have much time. It's an emergency situation. I'm okay because I attained realization, but you guys are in trouble. And because you have not supported me properly, either on this uh, video channel or on the WhatsApp groups, I'm withdrawing. I'm going into retreat. I'm going to live like a hermit. Nobody knows my location, and I intend to keep it that way. So there won't be any more new videos. This is the last video forever, period. And maybe I'll leave the comments on for a while, but if people start taking advantage, I'm going to turn those off too. So it doesn't please me to have to withdraw like this, but it's the right thing to do. You know, for a long time, it has bothered me that I haven't gotten what I consider an appropriate response from the people watching these videos. What would an appropriate response be? Well, Every time I have contacted a bona fide spiritual master, within two weeks, no matter where I was on the planet, I was on a plane. And I was dedicating all my resources to their service. And nobody has done that. And there's no sign that anybody will do that. So, you know, if you can't meet my standard of surrender to guru or teacher, then as far as I'm concerned, you don't deserve my help. So I've had enough. This latest incident was the last straw. I'm finished. You can all... Uh, as Buddha said in his last words, strive heartily for realization. But uh, I'm done with trying to help ungrateful people. That's, that's it. It's over. Goodbye.